let's look at the 2024 National 5 Admin and IT exam. Now this was held on the 1st of May and it was a two hour paper. So what I've done is I've just brought across the sort of scenario. You'll see there the Tekelwee Bistro, a small vegan restaurant in Westport, Dundee. The owners, Ian and Jackie McGowan, are passionate about sourcing all products from ethical local suppliers and providing customers with outstanding food and service. The motto is good food for you, sustainable for the planet. And then you have to complete the following questions. There may be something in the introduction that you might need later on in this paper. There's also the table underneath that you can use to show that you've completed each task and note that um, every time you do a spreadsheet, you're going to be asked for a printout to show in value view and also formula view. So there's always two printouts with the spreadsheets. And I've also shown you there the actual files that were in this paper. Two spreadsheets, you'll see their costings and monthly income. There's a database called Restaurant Details. There's the Bistro logo and there's a Word document. So let's now have a look at the first task, 1A, which is the database table. Now, task 1A talks about the database file restaurant details, and I've opened it up on the right hand side of the screen. It contains information about suppliers and products, and the three mark task is asking us to update the suppliers table with the information below and print a copy. We want to sort by supplier name and show only the supplier name, contact name, contact email, and phone number field. So, a few things to do here. First of all, when you look at the database, you'll see inside the database, there's actually two tables inside the database. So let's just have a, a closer look before we start to see what's actually here, that we've got the products table, and I can see there supplier ID, item, and date last ordered. And if I go into the suppliers table, this is actually giving us all the details for these suppliers. Now, you don't have to worry about this, at National 5 level, but just so you know, if you wanted to check to see if these tables are linked together, you could go up to Database Tools and look at Relationships. As I said, you don't need to worry about this for NAT5, but that there showing that the suppliers are linked to the products, so one supplier, <coughs> many products, and um, the, the, the joining line there tells us these tables are related and if you're doing any kind of database work, for example, doing a query or a report, this means that you can actually pull down fields from either table because they have been linked together. So let's just close that down and get on with the task. So for this one, we're just been asked to update the suppliers table. So that's the one I'm going to open up. Let's open up and have a look. And it's asking us in the instruction, the vegan drinks company have informed us that our contact Sarah Quigley has retired. Her replacement is Miss Neve Weston. So we have to make the change inside the table. So there's the vegan drinks company there. What we're asking for is, is Mrs. Sarah Quigley is coming out and replacing her with Miss. Neve, and it's really important to make sure you spell it correctly because you'll you lose marks if you don't. Sort of keyboarding uh, marks there, and it's um, Weston. There's a, an email address there. I'm just typing that in there. There's Neve W um, at vdc.co.uk, and I'm just going to tab along. The address is still the same for the, the company, but her uh, number, the, the phone number's changed to 0762371830. You'll notice there actually with the phone numbers, you might normally expect to see a space between after the first five digits, but uh, when you're updating a, a database table or, or a spreadsheet, don't have any spaces for the phone number. So that's us now updated the uh, suppliers table. That's all we have to do for the changes. I'm just going to, to save that. And it is asking actually that we update showing, sorted by supplier name and showing only supplier name, contact name, email and phone number. So let's open up this table and see how we can do that. 
sorting by supplier name just within the table. I'll just go to the drop down and do a straightforward sort like that. That will solve that problem. And then when it's asking only for particular fields, well, you know, I think probably the easiest way is just to hide the columns that we don't need. So we do need the supplier name. We need the contact details. We don't need the address, the, the town or the postcode. So actually what I could just do is highlight all three and then right click and then hide. Same, same way you do it in a spreadsheet, actually just hide that there. And at that point, we could just highlight that and uh, print it off. And that would be task 1A complete. Oh, in fact, there's two other columns that we need to hide. There's the supplier ID and category. Again, highlight both, right click and then hide. And then there is the data that you can then just print off.